Thank you for joining us. I'm John Rasmus, and this is Hoax Hunter. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Mars One. I'm sure you've all heard about Mars One. I'm dressed up like this because I'm from the future. And I can see the future. Does Mars One have the potential for success? Is Mars One 100% legitimate? I can say this. Mars One is not a hoax. They are raising the funds for the sole purpose of sending people on a one-way trip to Mars. I'm a huge fan of Mars. I'm a huge fan of anything associated with Mars. Total Recall. You name it. The Sidonia area. The d and pyramid. The face on Mars. Maybe I'll make an episode on those things in the future, but right now, this is about Mars One. So Mars One, uh, I first heard about it a couple years ago. So I first heard about Mars One when I got this email, please confirm subscription. Or maybe I heard about it in the news and I went to their website and subscribed. 4.17.13. And then uh, I got an invitation on 4.23.13 to apply. So I applied to Mars One. It's, it's definitely a crowdsourced thing and it is supported, supported by Google. When Google has a big old, big old square representing you, Google is supporting you. Google totally supports Mars One. It's a nonprofit organization. So yeah, they didn't uh, take any of that $35 registration fees for anything other than the project. Here is the official website the money has to go in many different places. Obviously web design is one of them and promotion is one of them or should I say that's everything at this point. They have merchandise but it's understandable they need to fund their project and uh, how much does the mission cost? After discussions with potential suppliers for each component and close examination Mars One estimates the cost of putting the first four people on Mars at six billion dollars. The six billion figure is the cost of all the hardware combined plus the operational expenditures plus margins. For every next manned mission, Mars One estimates the cost at four billion dollars. That's a lot of money. So the first mission is going to cost six billion dollars. At least that's the estimate that even Mars One has. And how much has Mars One raised so far? Seven hundred and eighty-four thousand dollars. That's peanuts, that's chump change, they haven't even raised one million dollars yet, but they are the most successful Mars uh, crowd f sourced, crowdfunded uh, operation. You have to give them that. They are successful in that respect, but uh, they need a lot more money. They need six billion dollars, and they only have seven hundred and eighty-four thousand dollars. The reason I made this video is because I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but uh, I recently saw Mars One in the news again. Maggie Liu pulls out of the Mars One mission program and uh, she was apparently one of the top 100 people picked to be a Mars One uh, astronaut and she took it really seriously. Uh, here is her uh, giving a lecture about Mars One probably for free and so she was a good uh, promotional spokesperson for Mars One and I think that's probably why they chose a lot of the uh, candidates because of their potential to be free spokespeople. Now I understand it's a nonprofit organization they need all the free promotion they can get especially since they've only raised a very small percentage and here is her tweet uh, you should probably know that I have made the difficult decision to withdraw from the Mars One program still I wish them the best of luck. Now that's the wisest decision she possibly could have made. She did that because she wants to pursue her education, which is a very smart decision. Uh, Maggie Lou, I, uh, I think you made the wisest decision you possibly could have made because no one in this lifetime is likely going to Mars unless they are a one-year-old baby. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I think Mars One is a great project, a great program. I just think uh, that they're an idea and uh, they don't have the dollars behind what they're going for. 
So right now they have the dollars behind maybe some schematics. Maybe some engineers can throw something together, throw some ideas around. Now realistically, it might even cost more than six billion dollars. I don't know how much it'll cost. I'm not an expert at these things, but uh, six billion dollars sounds like a good start, and seven hundred thousand dollars does not. Now I know I understand it's new, but it's about two years old, and maybe in fifty years they will have the six billion dollars. By then, inflation, they're going to need uh, $20 billion. But I wish Mars One the best of luck. They've raised a lot of money, over $700,000. That's a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things concerning sending humans to Mars, that's chump change. It costs $30 million for one space tourist to go to the International Space Station, or $20 million depending upon who you go through. Maybe even as cheap as 10 million if you can uh, bribe the Russians who are in charge of setting up the missiles slash space rockets. They don't even have one million dollars yet. I think if all of the millionaires in the world chipped in just one million dollars, Mars One would be pretty funded pretty good. Uh, so. I hope the best for Mars One. I really do hope they succeed. I want them to succeed. I did apply to be an astronaut because I knew that I'm probably going to be dead before a human gets to Mars. So uh, I just filled it out for fun. Seems to me they picked some people based on the fact that they look good and that they would be good spokespeople for the project. Whatever the case may be, whatever happens, I hope the best for any potential projects to send a human to Mars. I personally think we should send humans back to the moon and build a moon base and use that moon base as a main operation to go out to other planets. The moon is practically a planet. The moon is bigger than some of the planets in our solar system. The moon is spherical very big, and I would consider the moon and Earth a double planet. The moon is the perfect launching pad to Mars. And so if anyone is serious about going to Mars, I would say they should build a launching pad moon base on the moon, and from there, go to Mars. Perhaps they just need to build some type of refinery to actually have the ability to harness and refine rocket fuel from the resources on the moon and if we turn the moon into a gas station it will be a lot more efficient a lot more productive a lot easier to get to mars and i'm all for mars base i'm a big fan of mars i want there to be a mars base but i think it's a little more realistic to start with a moon base we haven't been back to the moon in many years it's been a long time but i i'm optimistic I think even if Mars One doesn't get to Mars, it's a good template for any space agency where they can look at, it would be nice for them to at least share their plans and their ideas, and it, it turns it into a nice discussion on the importance of going to other planets. Stephen Hawking has said, with the potential for humans to become extinct, it is important for us to spread out into the universe starting with what i would say is the moon mars and other planets uh, spreading the population of mankind is something that all star trek fans all star wars fans all sci-fi fans uh, would be a fan of it's common sense it makes common sense the year is 2015 we don't have flying cars we don't have a moon base we don't have a man on Mars. Uh, if we land on Mars, if I could make one tiny suggestion, land at Sidonia with the DNM pyramid and the face on Mars. Build a Mars base at Sidonia, just like the movies, just like Red Planet and all those other movies, uh, Mission to Mars. I can't remember which ones featured the face on Mars. Those movies were all pretty hokey. But I did watch them because I'm a fan of Mars. 
And I hope for the best for the Mars One team. I really hope you can gain the attention of billionaires and millionaires to donate or governments to pitch in or at least governments to possibly take over your project and actually make it feasible. Realistically, they need billions and billions and billions of dollars. They need probably at least as much money as George Lucas's Lucas Fund. Hey, if George Lucas wants to uh, build a Mars base, you know, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg, if they got together, they could totally build a moon base. Yeah, those two should definitely build a moon base. But I want to focus on the positive, and I hope the best for Mars One. And I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus with Hoax Hunter. Be seeing you. Yeah.